Welcome to Mormon Book Reviews. So I want to thank you all for the positive feedback I got on my inaugural episode and uh, it's been very encouraging. So basically let's get right to the book review. I reviewed and read the book of course, uh, William Burkerton, uh, Forgotten Latter-day Prophet by Daniel P. Stone, who's actually a member of this church. And it's an interesting history because it's uh, often referred to as the Burkerton Organization uh, many Latter-day Saints may know it as being the third largest church of the Restoration, but probably don't know a whole lot more about it. But it is an interesting history. William Bickerton came from England and actually took a job in Pittsburgh to be a coal miner. He would eventually work his way up to be a coal miner foreman, but he was, uh, it's a, was a hard, very hard scrabble existence, as you might imagine. But he became really, really fascinated with uh, Mormonism, in particular with Sidney Rigdon, who was a prominent person in the community, and Sidney had lost the, um, the power struggle with uh, Brigham Young. So Sidney uh, went back to Pittsburgh and attempted to start his own church that he called the Church of Jesus, the uh, Church of Christ, actually. And uh, William Bickerton was very interested and thought that Sidney was one of the greatest orators he had ever heard. So he ended up getting baptized into the church, worked his way through the leadership of the church, attended their school of the prophets, and was anointed uh, by Sidney. So as time went on, people started realizing that some of the revelations that Sidney were given, they didn't quite think were legit. And he wanted to do a situation where people were living in a communal living setting like they were in the early days of Kirtland. And he attempted to set it up. William Burkerton refused to join the group and ended up um, from afar observing what was happening in Pittsburgh, where he was at. And it all collapsed. Sidney Rignan is no longer in the picture. And the remnant of people who were still part of the group came back and uh, coalesced themselves around William Bickerton. So William, understanding now that maybe Sidney Rigdon wasn't the prophet that he thought he was, started then associating with Brigham Young and the Utah Saints uh, because he had the understanding that polygamy was not being practiced. Well, once he found out it was, he said, we're out of here. And he started a little core of a group that would later make him their prophet and they became the Church of Jesus Christ. And they were a full-fledged Pentecostal uh, church, still are, and they practiced the baptism of the Holy Spirit, the gift of tongues, prophecy and revelation, uh, healings and all that. And so they're very, very involved with Pentecostalism. Uh, William Bickerton uh, considered Joseph Smith to ha be, I guess, a fallen prophet, and he also considered Sidney Rigdon to be a fallen prophet. But he still loved the Book of Mormon and some of Joseph Smith's uh, revelations and some of the doctrines and covenants. So with that, he, uh, they decided to go out at their own and uh, establish a church that was separate from the rest of the Restoration. So they, uh, William Bickerton, called his church the Church of Alma basically uh, indicating that they were a separated branch from all the other churches. It was a church that independently formed on its own, and that was the role they were to play within the Restoration as being the Church of Alma. So in towards the end, William Bickerton ends up actually getting defrocked um, from his position in the church. Uh, apparently there was some scandal about him, but the research that the author did uh, indicated that the worst thing that was accusation that was thrown at him was that he was seen outside in the company of women, uh, alone with women, which in that Victorian era was, uh, I guess, a problem. Well, that was it. So William Bickerton really um, wasn't caught in any kind of scandal, seemed to be a very sincere man, uh, loved the Bible, loved the Book of Mormon, uh, was very uh, uh, proud to be associated with the movement. So uh, he ends up getting defrocked. The church itself kind of turned their back on William Bickerton. The theme being, of course, well, Joseph Smith fell, Sidney Rigdon fell, of course William Bickerton's going to fall, and I think that's what was established. So basically, a couple things about the church. Um, this is the church that people uh, actually is that Alice Cooper was belonged to. His father and his grandfather were uh, bigwigs in the church. His grandfather was the president of the church for a couple of years. And his father's name, and he was an evangelist, his father's name was Ether Moroni Fernier. And uh, that's where we hear about uh, um, Alex Cooper allegedly being a Mormon. That's where the story comes from. He's actually now an evangelical. A couple other things is they actually early on 
uh, came out with a translation of the Book of Mormon in Italian. There's a large Italian membership in the church. Well, the movie uh, How Rare Possession, which was about Vincenzo de Francesa, uh, it was the story of how the cover of the Book of Mormon was missing, and he searched high and low for the church that produced this Bible. He ends up getting baptized by um, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, but turns out he actually was using a Church of Jesus Christ Book of Mormon, and that's what converted him. Um, so this is a very interesting history. Um, the, the author reassessed everything about him because he was given access to records of the church because he was a member. And he's asking his church to reassess his role in, the, in their history. And it's also time to reassess his role within the greater restoration movement. So to summarize, this is the book review. The Church of Jesus Christ might be best known by Latter Saint, the Latter-day Saints, if at all, as the third largest group that is part of the restoration movement. It is often referred to as the Brickerton Organization in some written histories. What is even less known, even by its own members, is William Bickerton. He was anointed by Sidney Rigdon, and when his group imploded, Bickerton was there to pick up the pieces and restore it. The author, who is a member of this church, does a yeoman's task in putting together the first authoritative biography of this unique prophet of the Restoration. I warmly endorse this book and give it a rating of 5 out of 5 stars. So, like, subscribe, please comment. I'm providing a link to Rick Bennett of Gospel Tangents. A shout out to you. Um, some of the background I got uh, from this book as well was from his videos, so I think you'll really like his YouTube page. Also, I put a link down for, uh, for the book itself. So, thanks again. Have a wonderful day, and see you soon.